So here I'm trying to dispel any misconception between E sec and cis trans of a double bond. Okay, so first of all, please delink these two concepts. All right, they are not related. So in the naming of a molecule, either you use E sec or cis trans if it's applicable. Now back to this example here, we have learned just now that this could be classified as a Z isomer and that as an E isomer. But what if you want to see if this belong to the cis or the trans isomer? Let's take a look. Again, at the carbon-carbon double bond, we see other same groups on the opposite end of this double bond, and I've identified that there is an F fluorine on both sides. And this fluorine are on the same side, this way, of the double bond. So same side means this is a cis isomer. For the one below, the fluorines are on the opposite side. You see? Opposite, cutting across the double bond. So that will be a trans isomer. Some people may think that, oh, E is trans, Z is cis. But no. If you take a look at this example here, that molecule, right? Let's determine whether it's E or Z. Again, we cut across this carbon-carbon double bond. Carbon here against fluorine. Fluorine has a high atomic number of 9 against carbon, which is 6. So, higher priority at the bottom. Check. Fluorine, atomic number 9. Bromine, atomic number 35. So, this is of a high priority, so I take this. So, since the high priority ones are on the same side, which means that it is a Z isomer. But if I would like to classify it as cis or trans, what happened then? Fluorine, identical groups are on opposite end. So this could be classified as a trans isomer. Now if you allow me to draw another geometric isomer of this molecule that looks like this. Same molecular formula but different structure. You notice that Again, I'm checking the high priority one, fluorine, and for the other side, bromine. High priority on the opposite side, so that give it an E isomer, but the fluorine are on the same side, so this is cis. And you can see here that Z isomer could give you a cis, Z could also give you a trans. E can be a trans, E can be a cis. That's why you can't tell us that, oh, E must be one of them and Z represents the other. They have totally different relationship and you have to distinguish them one by one using the theory and correct principle.